Love to you yet. It's madness now. Why? It's not safe. I don't know what the problem is, baby. I got, I got different flavors. This is strawberry, orange, you start with strawberry. It's my favorite. How long are we gonna keep using this? Baby, you say you're going to marry me someday. Are we gonna keep using condoms when we're married? The case is simple. Just go for an HIV test like I've done and let the test show that you're free. And then oh, we can be faithful, we can get married, we can make love every day if you want. Just do it. You think I'm afraid of a test? Is that what you think? Oh, I didn't say that. Just, just do the test, please. Thanks a lot. Oh, baby. Hey. Thanks. Thanks. You know what I need now? I need a shot. Oh, shot. To me, don't shut me out, please. I'm gonna wait for the test. What test? The HIV test? Okay. So? <clears throat> they found traces of it. Traces of what? Virus. You're, you're HIV positive. That's what it test said. This is when I really, really need you. Don't abandon me now, please. You knew you had HIV. And you were hiding it from me so you could infect me with it. I didn't know. Please, out of me! Please, please, please. Look. Don't do this to me. I love you. This is the time I need you. This time I need your strength to carry on with what's left of my shattered life. All I have. If for old time's sake, please. I'm a broken man. Please, I'm on my knees. Don't do this to me, please. I'm begging you. Oh, 
Because you don't, don't do this, please don't. Don't embarrass me, okay? Tell me how I'm supposed to take this. No, tell me how I'm supposed to accept this. How, how I should accept the fact that the man I love, the, the one I've built my dreams around, the man I'm supposed to spend my future with, is not even going to be in my future. Tell me. Tell me how. You know, you've killed me. You've, you've broken my heart. You've killed me. You know, and, and you know, each time I shout, I shout because I don't want to cry. I don't want to cry. That's why I'm, I'm shouting. I'm sorry. You know, for three days now, all I do is go into my room, shut my door, and cry and cry. I've cried my eyes out that I have nothing, nothing left to give. Just looking at you like this is breaking me apart. Help me, please. I'm begging you, don't leave me, please. Um, no. just, just go away, okay? I need to try and put my, myself together, okay? Are you leaving me? I don't know. I don't know, okay? All I know is that... I need a few weeks to heal, okay? I'm, I'm hurting so much. I, I need to gather my scattered emotions together. I need to put myself in, in the right perspective. Just go. Take this. My calm you down. Georgina, when last did you see Murphy? Four days ago. He's been calling me and I'm crying on the phone. And that's what breaks my heart the most. I don't know what... I don't know how to console him or what to tell him when I see him. And the sight of him with the thought that he would die just... just makes me cry. Or I'll just be silent in front of him. Georgina, I know you. Don't leave him now. Go to him. He needs you now. Go to him and to what? What do I say? I can't save his life. Do I, do I just go there and watch him die? He won't die. 
Not now. It may take 10 years, 20 years. If you give him reasons to leave. Oh, when you make him sad with my tears, I'll just keep crying and cry. Maybe that is what he needs. Someone to cry for him. Someone to make him feel loved and needed. We cry for those we love, you know. Georgina, please go and see him. It's bad enough that you abandoned him for four days. Knowing how much he loves you. Okay, if you get there and you don't know what to do, just sit there, be silent and hold his hands.
did you do anything because insult, gossip, talk, side talk, anything that would break his heart, anything that could possibly lead him to commit suicide? No. Nothing. To the best of your knowledge? To the best of my knowledge. You see, Mrs. James, as much as the police condoles with you on your son's death, I see no reason why we should keep bothering this young lady's life by bringing her to the police station every day and bombarding her with, with this barrage of questions. And unfortunately, I cannot detain her as you wish. You see, judging by the autopsy carried out on your son. We found no incriminating evidence pointing to the fact that she was in any way instrumental to his death. I mean, look at her. Look at the young lady. She's in so much sorrow. She is in much sorrow as even you yourself are. I always want my son stay clear of her. She was never any good for him. But he would not listen to me. I know that she drove him to suicide. Mrs. James, don't you think you're getting a little bit too sentimental here? Do you have any evidence to back up your accusation? You don't have, do you have any evidence? You don't have any evidence. What was her name doing? written on a sheet of paper on my son's table? Wasn't she the first person to find him dead? Obviously, the law cannot allow such a criminal a murderer to go scot free. Mrs. James, false accusation is punishable under the laws of the Federal Republic. Do you know that? False accusation. Yes. False accusation. My son cannot just die like that. Sergeant. Sir. Take this file to the inspector's office. Okay. Tell him to put it in file B section. Okay, sir. Okay? Okay, sir. This case is closed. Shut up. for two weeks. I loved Murphy. I will never disrespect him. I will never bring shame to his name, even in death. I can never tell anybody why he killed himself. I feel responsible for his death as well. But you didn't kill him. Don't forgive. You thought I abandoned him. He despaired. He lost his health. He lost his love. He lost everything. The only other option was suicide. I did not you get it. I miss him. Auntie, he was such a great guy. I know, my dear. Life goes on. You have your job to face. I love to catch up with you someday. You find some guy. He's all so cool. Yeah. You're right. I just face my job. Oh my God. I've decided to give my life to Christ, you know. Get born again, pray. No more boyfriends for me, no. I marry a good husband when a man comes along. Because. <laughs>
Okay, Jaji. Anna, thank you for the ride home. So I'll see you at the office tomorrow, yes? Tomorrow at the office. Yeah. I'm too clubbing tonight. Remember, today is Thursday, ladies' night. You know now. Well, I, I don't hang out anymore. And besides, I have to attend fellowship this night. Fellowship? Yes. Come to think of it, I mean, you've changed so much within the past few months. I mean, your lifestyle, your dressing. You used to be a very, you know, lively person. You used to be full of life, laughter, issues. Anyway, I apologize for saying it. But I think you're gradually becoming so boring. Regina, what is going on? Well, it's really a pity if you find me boring according to your standards. But the most important thing is that I've found inner peace and I've faced my God. <laughs> Excuse me, wait, wait. Does it mean you've joined this born against golf? No, uh, I haven't joined anybody, okay? I've, I've just decided to turn to Jesus. And the more I know him, the more I, I dislike this, this joints or hangouts or... Uh, no, whatever, just thanks, okay? Thanks for being here. Bye. 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 -bye. Bye. Gina. work and that church fellowship of yours to China if Jesus Christ had friends. Don't you think you're overdoing it? Auntie, I like it that way. Do you know what Murphy's death did to me? Do you know the trauma? The agony of seeing your loved one hanging from a rope. It's a sight that lives with you. Still, life goes on. My life is going on. Open up yourself to men. Every woman has a 
as a PPO for marriage. And when you, someone who truly loves you will tell you the truth like this. Her parents are dead. I am your mother's sister. I will deceive you. And see, there's, there's something I must tell you. I'm listening. It's, it's very serious. You know, last night at the fellowship, I saw a carbon copy of Murphy. You did what? You know, while he was alive, he told me he had an identical twin brother who was studying abroad. But until I saw him yesterday, I didn't know they were that identical. He was Murphy, no difference. It's just that he didn't have a beard hair like, like Murphy, you know? I almost fainted. I thought I'd seen a ghost. Did he recognize you? I mean, I've seen him in pictures with Murphy. I don't know. He just couldn't take his eyes off me. He couldn't take his eyes off you. Georgina, stay away from him. That family is bad luck. A family of suiciders. Hey, man! Hey, Children of the Most High, praise the Lord! Hallelujah! Well, first, I have to apologize. I have not been attending the fellowship for some time now. It was due to night duty at the office. However, today I am here. Praise the Lord! Hallelujah! Meanwhile, I have noticed some new faces in our midst. Oh, yes, brother. Will you please come out and introduce yourself to the brethren? Yeah. Welcome, sir. <laughs> um, children of God, praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Um, Pastor, I feel good in my spirit. God bless. Well, um, my name is Brother Raymond James, and um, I'm a stockbroker. It's my profession. I've been living in the United States in New York for um, some 10 years now. And um, previous to now, I used to attend um, Global International as a fellowship in the worldwide. I, um, I came into the country a month ago. My mother invited me to, to come start here in the family conglomerate, which was previously run by my brother, my twin brother. His name is Morphy. Uh, Murphy died recently under very tragic, painful circumstances. And, uh, it's still fresh, and uh, I do not wish to uh, discuss that in this document. Yet. But it suffice to say that God more or less ordered my step here. Because last night uh, I was struggling in the spirit, prayed for a while, and I wanted to stroll, and I strolled out. And, um, I just want to thank everybody here. Thank you. You are welcome in the name of the Most High. You can have your seat. You are welcome in the name of the Most High. It's the exact opposite out there. People just don't appreciate God and realize what he's done for them. 
Well, um, my name is um, Brother Raymond. What's your name? Georgina. Georgina. It's a beautiful name. Beautiful woman. I um, I was about to leave. Um, did you did you come with the car by any chance? No. No. Oh. Okay, then please allow me the honor of um, dropping you at home. Uh, no, don't, don't worry. I, I normally pick a cab. Yeah, uh, but this time of the need to kind of leave, don't you think? Okay, believe me, it's no bother at all. I'll drop things out where you're going and I'll go home. It's not, it's no big deal. Please. My car is parked outside. Saturday, so I, I am. Um, I kind of figured you, um, you, you won't be going to work today, so I came by. Um, I thought you might use some company, and um, I understand you. You spend a lot of time alone, and I don't think that's too good. Well, I'm sure I am. Um, you are living alone? Yes, pretty much. Mm. Folks? I'm an only child. Oh. Parents? Dead. My dad is dead too. Dad, when we were pretty young. My mom has always been there for us. She's a very strong woman. <laughs> pretty strong. I had a twin brother though, he died recently, killed himself over some girl, I still can't perform it. <laughs> hey, hey, are you okay? Yes. You sure? Oh, I mean, I, I, I have this sudden attack of, of headaches, you know, I, I think it's migraine. I could pop over to some store down the street and get you something for the pain, okay? No, no don't bother. I, I'll just lie down and, and, and relax, you know. And, um, Raymond, I think you should go now. I, I, so that I can rest, you know. Okay. That's what you wanted. Okay, um, I, um, I'll see your fellowship tomorrow. And um, I'll call you when I get home, make sure you're okay. Alright? Okay. I guess that's it then, eh? Yes. I am. Um, I'll, I'll, I'll just pop over to the store and get yeah, that drug yeah, yeah. I'll, I'll just slide down here and rest. Okay. Yes. So um, that's it then? Eh? Yeah. I'll call you tonight. Mm, okay. I, I, um, okay. Yeah. Um, okay, I. <laughs>
Yes, please. Sit down. You are already at work. Yes. And I had to look you up after that um, nasty headache yesterday. Make sure you're okay. I'm fine. I'm, I'm okay now. I, I had enough rest, so I'm okay. I didn't see your fellowship um, yesterday, so I got worried. Okay, thank you. I have something for you. It's a this man, um, I think in my life, it's also got two gospel CDs on it. Really nice. You could listen to it while you work, let out all that stress. Um, no, um, Rima, no, thank you. I, I can't take it. Please. Why, you don't like it? I could take it. No, no, please, just leave me alone, okay? You, you remind me. Of what? Never what? Mind. Never mind. Okay, listen, um, don't buy gifts for me anymore, okay? Um, don't try to be nice to me. It makes me nervous. Oh. Okay, I can respect that. But, um, is it okay I come back here tomorrow and take you out to get something to eat, maybe lunch or something? Let tomorrow come. Let, let tomorrow decide. Okay, um, thank you. Well, I better let you work. <laughs> um, I'm sorry, I can't, I can't take this back, okay? You decide what to do. You can give it out if you want. I'm sure it's because I look different in all the pictures I had with Murphy. You know, I wore trousers, loud makeup. And tell him who you are and let him leave you alone. I've been trying to avoid him. I even stopped going to fellowship so I don't see him. But he found my office, he knows where I work, he knows where I fellowship, he knows my house. Where else can I hide? Don't worry, he'll get tired. No, he won't. He keeps coming on strong. That's the same way his brother wooed me. With a lot of care and gifts, you know. He's a nice guy, though. It is common to see identical twins fall in love with the same girl. Yeah, I like you. I think that's worse. I see so much of Murphy in him. And even more, he's, he's more mature and gentle. Georgina, are you falling in love with him? No, no. But I love Murphy. And he's like Murphy. I don't know what I'll do if I'm not able to put him off. Just tell him the truth and let it go. He will hate me, then let him hate you. Please, you be free. Georgina. Oh, hi. Um, Raymond, there's something I must tell you. Uh, okay, I'm listening. No, no, not, not on the phone. We need to sit down and talk about it. Okay, I can appreciate that. Um, why, can you send me the office tomorrow? I can't come to your office. Your, your workers know me there. Whatever that means. Uh, okay, um, how about the house? Can you come by the house? Look, look, it's okay, I live alone. If you have a pen, I'll give you the address right now. Okay, um, I'll, I'll just get a pen. Just hang on a minute. All right. Sit down. Yes. Can I get you something? Uh, Raymond, we really need to talk about this now, and um, I, I won't be staying that long. Yeah, I can appreciate that, but a cup of coffee won't hurt. 
I'll be back in no time, okay? Okay? Okay. okay. So, um, cream? Yes. Should you? Yeah, what? Okay. Be right back. Before. Easily in love with her. And if she did anything, it would affect him that much. Maybe he caught her with another man. Maybe she broke his heart. of him to commit suicide. And now, you, you are warming up to the same girl responsible for your brother's death? Are you out of your mind, Raymond? I didn't know she was the same girl, Mom. But I told you her name was Georgina. Well, I, I thought it was some sort of coincidence. What was I to know? I showed you her pictures, Raymond. And I told you she's an enemy to this family. She, she kind of looked different in pictures. Raymond. You won't ever speak. One single word to that girl ever again in your life. I forbid you.
Who is he? At the reception. I don't want to see him. What do I tell him? Just tell him I said I don't want to see him. I don't. I can't see him now. I don't want to see this man, please. Man, are you okay? Jenna, just tell him what I said. I don't want to see him. Okay, ma. your brother's death or to be killed like I killed your brother. <laughs> you are the murderer, Georgina. Neither my killer. What am I? I don't know. But you're definitely not the killer. Been guided by my instincts all my life. You're not one. That's the reason I'm going to ask this question just once. Once. Did you kill my brother? Directly or indirectly? No. I didn't kill Murphy. He found out that he... he was HIV positive. And committed suicide. I was heartbroken because... I love Murphy so much. Search his page and you may find the result there. I don't know. who took away your brother's life. What has come over you, Raymond? What is it? Chan? What spell has come over you? Didn't you see any other girl in town? Must she be the only girl you're going to get friendly with? Look at her. This is, this is enough, okay? She named your Murphy. Then who did? Tell me who did. Explain to me how a hungry young man with a sound mind, will just wake up one morning and decide to hang himself and kill himself. If not that he was driven to it by some love of business frustrations. And you know that the family business is doing very well. So it wasn't the family business, it was Georgina! It was not Georgina! My wife wasn't that healthy. He had HIV. Now he couldn't deal with it, so he hung himself. Who told you that? Georgina did. This girl kills my son. It is not enough for her. She is seducing my only surviving son. It is still not enough for her. 
She has to dishonor the dead by spreading false HIV news. I will not allow it. You know what? There's something that really baffles me here. How would the Dina kill, kill her? Did she kill, kill her with a bang hand? With a gun? A knife perhaps? How? Oh, come on, my son. Don't you ever underestimate the power of a woman. Because that power has got you. She's got you. You know what, Mom? I've had enough of this. I'm going off this right now to look through my face stuff. Maybe I'll find some kind of proof. I think it's time you stop. Are you just that, Mom? Neither do I know how to handle things. But I must admit that um, it's been very demanding on my emotions. Very demanding. I'm attracted to you. I love your writing. It's so easy to see what Murphy saw in you. Oh. Let me say that um, I see a lot of Murphy in you and naturally it makes me attracted to you too. Murphy was wild, you know, free-spirited, ready to experiment with life. But you, you're cool, religious, Diplomatic and inside a rebel. I like you. You know, when two people feel the way we feel, it's best we do the right thing. I'm a born again. I absolutely believe in the gospel of Jesus Christ. And I'm happy you do too. That make our ideologies one and the same. And when you feel what we feel in order to um, avoid um, fornication, then it is best to um, you get married. Make it permanent. I can't. It, Trust me, I know what I'm doing. I know your heart knows I'm doing the right thing. Okay? Thank <laughs> you. 
she's got teeth. Tell me one shot in my life. You're so beautiful. Who can say no to you? Let's go. Now, I, I just brought over so we can talk, okay? Raymond, what is she doing in my house? Mom, I had to bring over so we can sit down and talk this thing over. Talk what over? Okay. Talk what over, Raymond? Don't, don't. Get out! No, Mom, don't go about to sit down, sit down. Okay? Get out of my house! Mom, don't. Right now! Oh, for crying Get out. out! Mom, stop this, okay? Don't worry, I'll walk things up, okay? You don't have to worry about now. Get out of my house! Oh, what have you done? Okay, doctor. I'm going to have to go get the doctor. Get the doctor! Well, the point is, it was not the best decision not to have told me all that was going on. Had I known earlier, I would have made that time to visit your mom and explain to her from the viewpoint of the Bible. Oh, brother John, I appreciate the way you feel. But you see, we felt the fewer people that knew about this, the better. It's a, it's a matter for the heart, the family matter. And um, we also felt we couldn't get the fellowship involved until we are ready to say, I do. <laughs> I do. If Georgina had died as a result of a wicked blow to her head, I wonder what we'd be saying by now. Georgina. Georgina. Leave Raymond and his family alone so that you will live long. They have bad luck. They have hair. They have bad luck. Oh, do I have water in my mouth? Auntie, don't talk like this now, please. I'm going home. Raymond, that charm that you and your family have used on my sister's daughter, use it well. When you kill her, bring her cubs back to me and I will shake you. Georgina. Oh. Well, Brother Raymond and Sister Georgina, never mind. Um, Brother Raymond, I hope she is continuing with her medication. Oh, yes, ma'am. She's been taking her drugs quite well. Good. Now, I am coming to, with you with, to your place. I'm going to meet your mother and speak with her. Okay, but perhaps I can arrange you some other time. She's not home
Okay, last step, last step. We're getting okay. Just keep moving, 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 moving. Stretch out your legs. That's it. <laughs> you make a good blind woman. <laughs> no. <laughs> okay, hang on. Don't open your eyes, okay? Okay, okay. No cheating now. I'm not. Okay, stay cool. Okay. Tana. Open. Open. Voila. Uh. Surprise. I don't see any surprise. What do you mean you don't see any surprise? Haven't you noticed I came in a different car? Yeah, okay, but it's, it's, it's a lovely car. Yeah, no rug about fix it, trust me. But really, I've seen you in like three different cars and this one doesn't ring a bell. Hey, look, let me explain the history of this car, see? Okay. This car has been lying around idle factory grounds. See, the manager was using it until he bought his car recently. Here. Mm -hmm. Why? Why? I'm just to figure it out. No. Okay. See, I know you don't have a car. And you need something to push you around. So, I brought it. Here, the keys. It's yours. Raymond, are you out of your mind? Do you want your mother to kill me? My mother doesn't know. She only comes to the factory. Wait, ah! Uh. Look, don't, don't do this, babe. Believe me, I went through a great deal of trouble getting this car. Believe me, you, you really... But, but the workers love me. They wouldn't tell her. Baby, you have to have this car. Let me explain why you have to have this car. Hold, hold it. for the keys. Car keys. You and Raymond. You must be out of your minds to think that you can fool me. And you, most especially, you are very stupid to think that you can enrich yourself on the wealth of my household. Now, hand over the car keys to me. Step aside. Get me the car, please. You follow me. Okay. He's back! No, 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 please. 
like this since I left in the morning? Yes. The doctor sedated her again. The pain was too much. The more she sleeps, the less pain she feels. with the swans I bought for you. You know why? Because I want to poison you. That's the extent of the hatred I have for you.
see you now, please. Grandma, what is the matter with you? Why are you screaming like that? You went to the hospital, didn't you? You went to the hospital to torment Georgina, didn't you? Yes, I did. I want that girl to die. Why? What did she ever do to you? That girl is sleeping in and out of consciousness. She's calling your name every minute. Why do you want her dead? She must die. She killed my son. She didn't kill anybody. Let me tell you something. You have to stop this. Because if anything happens to that girl, believe me, as she's dying, you're bearing another son. I'm going to kill myself. So disturbed. Is there anything the matter? Yes. Look, a fellowship leader, I really need to ask you some questions. Look, must I, must I obey and respect my mother at all times, even if she, if I know she's wrong? Yes. I mean, I, will God be angry if I hit her back, especially when she hits me? Brother Raymond. Never raise your hand against your mother. It is an abomination before God Almighty. It's also an abomination for any mother to put her son through what she's putting me through. I Come know. on, she's harming the woman I love and I'm helpless. There's nothing I can do about it. I know. It. Calm down, Brother Remote. Well, how is Sister Chardina responding to treatment? Not too good, I'm afraid. I know her leg is really, really bad. Uh, the doctors are not telling me much. Mm. Jesus. But I remind you, you need to pray with me for Sister Georgina. I can see darkness. The Spirit has just moved me to do so. Please, let us pray. In the name of Jesus, Amen. in Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Amen. Father. Alive. They are attacked by the Turks. 
left her in a very bad shape. And your mother's on slot did not help matters either. Presently, she has gathering infection in both legs. We had them to take both legs from the knee down to save her life. I will lose her. I listen to me. I'm talking to you. <laughs> That's the situation. Oh my God. like a stump of wood without my legs completely dependent totally disabled you will not die stop talking nonsense I'm going to wait for you here and take good care of you when you come out you'll never be a burden to me baby you know that I know I'll live in your memory forever but physically I'm already dead I've lost interest in fighting to live. Georgina is gone. Ask of me next week and they'll show you a grave. Don't die. Have faith in that. Have faith in us. Just go there and come out and I'll give you all the love on earth. Okay? I love you. Goodbye, my love. I'll see you later, baby. Right here because I need to go see her. Doctor, what's happening? Mr. Raymond. Yeah? I'm sorry. Last time. What do you mean? She's dead. She's what? I just saw her. I just saw her. She, 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 she just cr cr crossed through here right now. She, she can't be dead. She just crossed through here right now. Yeah, 
the <laughs> I know what the problem is. You probably think I'm gonna break down and, and, and then cry like these other people and then throw a tightrope to do all that. Well, I'll, I'll probably <laughs> think I'm gonna laugh right here. That's the best I'm gonna laugh. And, and guess what? Believe me, mom is going to be so happy this girl is dead. <laughs> I can't wait. <laughs> I can't wait to tell her. Oh, oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> Can you help me out, please? Can you help me out? <laughs> hey, hey, come here, come here, man. It's okay, man. It's okay. Hey, it's okay. But hold up. You did what you had to. Okay? <laughs> I just, I just saw a girl right here. You told me she's dead. All right, man. Take it easy, okay? <laughs> Oh man, <laughs> he's dead. <laughs> you should see your face, man. <laughs> and you open the door again, thanks. I'll see you around again. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> my
Yeah. <laughs>